campaign 2016, it's the GOP's time in the spotlight. All eyes are on Cleveland as the Republican National Convention gets underway today. CBS 2's Rob Johnson is there and caught up with some of the Illinois delegation. The Republicans got the party going here Sunday night at the iconic Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. With a currently divided party, the GOP wants to put on a good party and get the rank and file squarely behind the Donald Trump Mike Pence ticket this week. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was the perfect backdrop for this Republican pep rally four years in the making. Getting into the party was no easy task, as security was tighter than National Republican Party Chair Rance Priebus's lips, who preferred taking selfies with fellow Republicans than taking a few questions from me. Rance, Rance, Rance. Fortunately, Illinois Republican Party boss Tim Schneider was a little more chatty when we met him welcoming Illinoisans to the delegation hotel. We've got a, a very vocal, small minority who are this never Trump group, but, but the vast majority of everyone here is excited about our nominee and wants to move our country forward under his leadership. People want to know! Meanwhile, just blocks away from the GOP celebration, hundreds of anti-police brutality and pro-immigration protesters marched the streets of Cleveland closely watched by body armor and helmet clad police officers. When you hear Donald Trump's message about immigrants and about Muslims in particular, uh, what concerns do you have about his fitness to be president? Well, I don't think Donald Trump is fit to be president. And as a young person, I want to live in a world and a country that's based on compassion and diversity, uh, a, a country where we build bridges and not walls. And Donald Trump wants to do the exact opposite. People have been facing off and defying Trump all over the country because this message of hate and fascism needs to end. So the real convention action gets going this morning. There'll be a breakfast of the Illinois delegation at their hotel. And then the programs begin starting on Monday afternoon, and we'll have it for you. In Cleveland, Rob Johnson, CBS 2 News.